Hello YouTube, thought I'd do a quick video on how to get your free Zello, um, the newest version, or well, the version at this time that I made this video, 2.6, into gateway mode. You're probably wondering, what is that for? Well, as you can see here, I have it in gateway mode, and what that does, it gives you more settings. If you go under Tools, Options, Radio, now we can select, do we want the transmit PC to radio be in Vox, or do you want to be a COM port? Let me move this over here. And if you do a COM port, you can select what COM port, and you can select what line you want to use, and if that line should be high or low, meaning that you know digital uh, high or low. Or you can use Vox. Same with the receive part of it. There's a Vox setting or a COM port. Um, Again, more more settings you can choose from. And you're probably asking yourself, well, why do I need to, to know this? Well, if you're going to hook up an interface box to your repeater, you need to have the settings. Um, and to get this, you've got to put Zello into gateway mode. And you have to edit a file to do this. There's not a simple little click on a, uh, um, on a button to make this menu come up. you got to edit a file. Um, I will post a link, and I already did these steps. You can read how to do it. But then if you get to a point where you're looking for this folder right here, this app data roaming slash Zello desktop, if you can't find that folder, you probably have to turn on, Let's for an example here, I will show you what I mean. You go to uh, your local C drive, you go to users, then you select what profile that you log in on. In my case, it's admin. And right here, see this app data? But if I don't have, if I go to view and I turn off this hidden items, you don't see it. See? That website doesn't mention this. So, uh, and, and, I, and also, too, I'm on Windows 10. So then you got to go to hidden items. Now the app data is there. You go there. You go to roaming. I suggest you make a backup copy, which is easy to do. You right click on it. You then you select. Let me do that again. You drag it, and it'll ask you if you want to make a copy or not. Like that, and then do a copy. So you have a backup. That's why I have one that says copy. You go to Zello Desktop. Here's the config file. You can open it with Notepad. Once you get it open at the very last line, right here, you want to change this to true. It will say false. You change that to true. You save the config file. Restart Zello. And if you did it right, when you start Zello, you'll see this screen right here. Radio Gateway will come up right away if you did this right. Just make sure you save the config file and then restart Zello or start Zello. You should really exit Zello before you do all this. But I'm on version 2.6, and this works on Zello 2.6. I'm running Windows 10. Um, just let you know that. Uh, and then if you wanted to go back to the normal Zello, you just go back to that config file and you change it to false. You type the word false in right here. Like see how this one says false right below it? You type it in exactly the same way. Don't change nothing else. Save the file, restart Zello, and it should come up the normal way. But like I said, this is very important because when we start doing our boxes, I got that blue box on order. I'm going to need this settings to be able to hook up this box to the repeater. And um, we're going to try to do more of a direct connect instead of using you know, another handheld to connect to the Redivus RT97 repeater. So that is how you get your Zello into gateway mode. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. And please subscribe. And thank you and have a good day.